Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. I've been looking for an excuse to use my new bonsai pull saw to cut off a, a, a trunk or a branch. And I think I've got a good example here to work on. What we have here is a cheap juniper. I bought it last winter from B&Q. I can't remember how much I paid. Probably about four or six pounds, something like that. And what I did is I wired up all these branches, put some nice movement into them and I did have a bit of an accident. I accidentally split, as I pulled this branch around here, I created a big split at the back. Uh, I thought that branch would die off, but it didn't. It's healed over, it's doing really well, and it's created something quite interesting, and I think I've got a new direction for this tree to go in. I was unsure about the front, but I was anticipating it perhaps being somewhere in here, but now that this branch has grown up, I quite like this twisting shape. I like all the movement. The only thing I don't like is the leader, which for some reason I left very straight. I don't think I was able to get a bend in it because it was too thick. And this is the branch. Well, this is what I th I'm thinking of removing. So I'm thinking if I chop here, the rest of this tree, I'll be left with nothing but interest. From this view here, you can see all of these really interesting branches moving and twisting. And I'm even more sure that this is the right course of action. This should, this should cut nicely, this. It's brand new saw. I'm being careful because I do have a branch at the back here that I don't want to damage. Oh, lovely. That cut off really nicely. Lovely clean cut. With the scar pointing to the back of the tree here. I definitely see this as the new front and this branch here looks like a great new apex. It's got some nice movement already, but with that being the apex, I would like these this branch to come a little lower and this back branch also needs some movement. So I'm going to wire both of these branches. Okay, I've applied the wire, um, lost a finger off my glove and I think I'm going to start with the apex, which has got some nice movement, but now that this is the apex, I just want this to just come up a little more like that. And round and then move this back branch up also like that. So that, that works really well actually, that I'm happy with that. Now that I've got that apex kind of sorted, let me come around to the camera side and see. Yeah, that comes up here nicely. Yeah, I'm happy with that angle. That looks good. Now to deal with this branch, which I don't want coming up as high as the apex. I want it to go down. I've added two coils of wire because I'm going to be twisting this one and really trying to go around with it really go for it there go on ah, there we go so i've applied a a full twist into that 360 degrees it's added some nice movement and yeah i'm happy with that and i don't actually want it pointing upwards because i'm happy with this going out i want this to be the most dominant and so I will prune that in a moment because I want to hold it back. That's well thick enough. Now the question is, well, one of the questions is, what do I do with this back branch? You can't really see it too much from this view, but as I raise that, you can see it there. It's quite thick. I'm almost tempted to remove it, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is leave it in place as a back branch and do something similar to this and twist it 
and take it hopefully round in this direction. So I'll show you this from the top. So you're still looking from, this is the front. So you're looking from above from the front and this is the branch that I want to take in that direction. And as I said, I want to twist like this. So I'm really cranking on that actually. And then taking this around so that's gone round with a twist round in this direction which is good I think I want to take it completely down so that looks from the front it's dipping down towards the soil so I'll I'll, I'll add that down movement, which I have done there. That, uh, that looks good. I'm pleased with that. And then from there, I want this to come sort of back, back around like that there. So that's really added some some really nice movement to that branch. I've got this branch back in a pretty decent position via the twisting. Uh, and I think that's good, I'm happy with that. So let's take a look from the front. From this view now, we can see this branch that I just moved, which is now this one. It's got some great twisting movement to it. This has got some nice movement. This top one, from this sort of front view, I've lost the branch there off the apex, that's fine. This one and this one kind of clash a little bit, but if I look at it from this direction, there's a little gap there. So I, have, I either have to push that one further down, which is difficult because it's already down. If, that's the most I can do. And I can also just bring that up a bit. And that now sort of clears the path there a bit and just sort of sorts that out. That's good, that's good. This one. This can come round like that. is the new apex and that should thicken up now this one this one coming out of the back now, I could always turn this one into the the new apex of the tree it's quite a, it's definitely a possibility and it would add nice taper so I've got two options there the only thing left to do is to move this lower branch down here that I applied a piece of wire to it's quite thin so I should with a bit of luck be able to you know, add some significant interest to this branch, although it is sort of coming out of the front of the tree, which is a bit awkward. So long as it's nice and small, which it is, you know, and it's not, not there for competing. That's got a nice little twist to it now. I don't want it corkscrewy though. It's a bit, a bit of a corkscrew with that one which I don't really like. So let's take it this way. And then maybe that can go like a bit more like that. There. And it's, that's just as corkscrewy as ever. That didn't work. I've not done a good job wiring that. The other branches were in the way and I've not done a good job. I need to rewire it now. So I'll just quickly 
spin that wire around there like that that's much better now that's much better so I can it's coming across I can sort of double it back on itself bring it up here and then just go in the opposite direction with the end to stop it being a corkscrew hmm I'm struggling with this a little <laughs> This is part of the fun though. That's looking better now. That's got some more interesting movement to it. I'm quite happy with that. There's plenty of foliage on this. This one here that I twisted. I want it to grow and hold its shape but I don't want it to go crazy so I am going to take the end off that just to hold it back a bit and stop it being so rampant and likewise I'm going to do the same with this one around here just to hold that back branch back whereas these at the top will be left. And all this green that I've left on, that's really going to help this wound at the back that I created to, uh, to heal over. So yeah, pleased with that. We're back round at the back of the tree now, and I did just have a couple of other branches that have now been moved into slightly awkward positions. And so I wanted to just add a bit of some movement to these. Right, this one can just the same, just twisting and bringing up like that, just to add a bit of interest. There, that's better. I'm really happy with how this tree is developing those twists worked really nicely and I think when that wire comes off those branches are going to have some really nice movement to them and with a bit of luck this time next year I might be in a position to start creating some pads and a bit more sort of, of a formal structure to this tree that's really something exciting to look forward to and obviously if you'd like to be kept up to date with this tree follow the channel hit subscribe and as always Thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.